I'ma sell the money, make it bounce. What is going on guys and welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create the smooth zoom out transition inside of After Effects. So the first thing we need is obviously two clips so we can transition from this first one here to our second one and ideally you want to have something that you can like mask out. It doesn't have to be a car, it can be like a subject, like a person or something but uh, for this video I'm going to be using this car here. So the first thing that we want to go ahead and do is mask out our second clip here. So you can either have this transition zooming out from your footage or you can have it zooming in but as you can see in my first clip here. I don't really want to zoom into the back of the car here. So I'm going to instead zoom out of this clip and then end in this like clip here. If that makes sense, I'll try to put up a video. But yeah, for this example here, I'm just going to be zooming out from my footage. So I'm going to be masking out my second clip here. So let's just go up to the mask tool and then just create a mask around the car. All right, so now you can see the car is masked out, but the mask doesn't actually follow the car. So we're just going to right click the mask and hit track mask and just analyze this forward. Um, in this clip, it doesn't really mess up at all, but you guys might have your mask kind of like drift off. So you might have to go ahead and fix it. But for this one here, it did pretty good. So I don't have to really do anything. So now what I'm going to do is duplicate this footage two times. So one, two. So now we have three layers right here. Now on that original layer that we masked out, we want to change the add to subtract. And then same thing for this top layer. So you just want to make sure that both of these are on subtract. Now I'm just going to go ahead and hide our middle layer for now. So now you can see it's just that cutout of our other footage. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in a new camera layer. So just go up to layer and then hit camera. And we're going to use the default properties here. And then you want to go here and make all of these layers 3D. And I'm actually going to add one more layer. Let's add a null object and then let's parent the camera to that null. Make sure that null is also 3D. And then right here, we're just going to zoom in by hitting P on our keyboard and then you can move this Z axis here. And then you want to zoom in till you can see like only that first clip. So you can also move it down if you need to. But as you can see, now the first clip is just like way too zoomed in. So I want to hit P again to open up the position values on that first clip and just zoom it out till you can kind of see it. And then you might have to move it down because we move that camera down so yeah something around here so to animate the camera going out we just want to set a keyframe at the start of our kind of clips here so just hit keyframe on the position and then go a few frames over and just zoom it out like this and if you want you can just hit reset if you right click it and it just goes back to what it was before there we go so then we can just go ahead and hit f9 on those keyframes go into the graph and just create a smooth graph so it doesn't look like a linear line i think that looks pretty clean so i'm just going to go ahead and keep that but now as you can see you get these like kind of black outlines and the footage doesn't actually fill up the whole entire car i'm going to go ahead and apply motion tile so just bring on motion tile to that first original clip here we're going to make the output width 300 and the height 300 and then let's just hit mirror edges. So there you go. Now you can see the car is filled up all the way. So you don't get those like black borders as you could see earlier. Now we just have to animate the car to actually show up here. Um, you can do a few different ways. You can just keyframe the opacity. So you can like kind of have it fade on like this. Or you can do the position where it like starts from down here and then goes up. So that's what I'm going to be doing because that's kind of what I showed at the beginning of this uh, video example. So let's just go ahead and go to, I guess, the end keyframe here where we position the null object for the camera. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit a keyframe. This is our ending position. So now let's go to the start or actually I want to be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to go a few frames over like this, move the car down. I'm going to do the same thing for these keyframes and easy ease them and then go into the graph and create a pretty similar graph, honestly. So let's see how this looks. So there we go. As you can see, it's already looking super clean and you can keep messing with the graph to kind of get the style that you want. You can either have the car like pop up right away or you can kind of have it delayed, I guess. So like this where it kind of pops up after it's fully zoomed out. So a lot of different styles you can go with this. Um, I might just have it kind of in the middle here. Another thing you want to make sure you have on is motion blur. So on all of our clips here, just make sure that you have motion blur enabled. And then also up here, just make sure this is toggled. And it's just going to make everything look a lot smoother. And yeah, as you can see, it just looks a lot better. So there we go. Pretty much all you have to do. And if you want, you can go ahead and add some like impact on this, like zoom out some shake or something. So I'm just going to pre-compose all of our uh, layers here. So we just have one. I'm just gonna cut the layer like around where the car starts to show up. So 
right here. I'm just gonna split the layer and I'm gonna go ahead and use my shake presets that I have. You can go ahead and download them in the link in the description, um, but you can use whatever shakes you have. It doesn't really matter, honestly, but I just like how easy these shakes are to use and they actually work super well for this effect. So I'm just gonna go in here and try the shake one. And also you wanna make sure you have motion blur enabled. Now, when we play this back, you can see we have some shake when that car kind of rises from the bottom and you can go ahead and apply different shakes if you want. I kind of like the shake wine rotate here. Let's go ahead and try this. That might be a little bit too much. So uh, let's try the shake Y small. That's actually kind of cool how it shakes up and down as the car kind of appears from the bottom like that. So let's just go ahead and keep that. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply one more effect. Um, I like using the turbulent presets here that I have. You can also go ahead and download these uh, in the description as well. But obviously you can just use the turbulent effect. But these are just all my presets that I have here. So I'm just going to apply like the turbulent small here and it's kind of subtle but you can kind of see it like ripples the footage here on the impact so kind of just adds to that effect and kind of smooths out everything and there we go that is pretty much how you create this effect it's pretty simple and it's pretty versatile you can use it in a lot of different edits um if you guys do want to go ahead and download those presets it will be linked down in the description below um but yeah with that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace out